for Aruba. You already have two bathing suits. You're only going to be there three and a half days. But I'm going to be swimming all the time. <laughs> you do not need that. Natalie Holloway was just a young teenage girl who was going on her spring break to Aruba, and she disappeared. And um, her mother came and to try to figure out what happened to her and where she was and, and had a very difficult time, was met with a lot of resistance from the government in the island where she was. It's the story about her journey and, and trying to figure out what happened to Natalie. Jerry, did Natalie show up yet? Have you found her? I'm sorry, no. Now, I tried to file a report with the police, but they won't consider her a missing person until she's been gone 48 hours. Well, then we'll just have to find her ourselves. I knew quite a bit about Natalie's story prior to working on the project. Um, I remember when it happened and was very affected by it when it happened because it was so real and so current. And Natalie and I are almost the same age. So it hit me in a personal sense that there was the reality of this could be me or any one of my friends. There have been 23 sightings of Natalie on the tip line, 23. She's here, on this island somewhere, alive. The thing that was most appealing to me was the subject matter of a mother's love for her daughter and her unrelenting you know, search to find her and then to find justice for her, which I think is something we can all relate to, if you know whether or not you have kids. Natalie Holloway's story doesn't have as satisfying a conclusion as those other stories. To this date, no one has ever been tried for the crime. I was going to bring her home alive. I was going to have her perpetrators behind bars. None of that has happened. I still have real hope, and, and real hope is, is, is when it has action behind it, and my real hope is when I present to these colleges, churches, civic groups, attorney generals, and the real hope is making a difference, and it's action behind it, and it's tangible for me, and that is why I keep going.